Okay, everyone. Uh, we're looking at the pound on an hourly bar. And you, you can see here that uh, the market is trading into this triangle pattern, um, or you could even call this pennant pattern here, with this uh, being the pole and this being the pennant. Either way, we're coming into a fairly significant pinch, if you will. So uh, let's go ahead and line them up. There's quite a bit of support um, very nearby. The market's at uh, 127. It's 847 Eastern Time. So this might actually trigger <clears throat> here in the Asian session. Um, I like the short below the low over here. Let's go ahead and zoom out. The thing we've got to be careful of, though, is that the, the support zone uh, is running just below uh, the low there. So let's go ahead and scroll back. Uh, well, you know what, let's go up to the four hour, drag in some more view. But if we do break, we really don't have a lot of support until 9900. So we could get a very fast uh, 130 pip move or so back down to the $2 range. So uh, short entry below this low here. Whoops. Short. Um, 2.0094, that's going to cut through the uh, round number of 2.0100, 35 pip stop. Uh, that will give the market an opportunity to, to head on down. Not really looking for much of a long trade at this point, primarily because the uh, short-term trend, um, yeah, the short-term trend is generally speaking down. And you can see here we're getting to, uh, a breakout point here on the bottom of this trading lane. Let me go ahead and uh, bring in the top end, attach that on the bottom, zoom in. So you can see here uh, the pound is definitely trading around the bottom end of the trading lane. Momentum, you can see here, has not shifted to the upside. Uh, in the past, the shifts in momentum has been very, very quick. Either during that session, the market got down and then came back up, or immediately reversed, and we're not seeing that this time. So. Uh, until the market can really gain some traction and some support, bottom line, folks, is the dollar has been uh, weak for quite a long time. Uh, it's, like I said uh, uh, several videos ago, everybody's picking on the dollar. You're seeing in major mainstream retail magazines uh, talking about um, shorting the U.S. dollar. So you're going to see some strength come about uh, just from that. The public in general is the last to get in. So when you've got the housewives of the world shorting the U.S. dollar because they saw it on the cover of Barron's, uh, you, can, you can make a pretty good play for actually the opposite happening. So I'm not really looking for long trades. I'd like to see the pound start to form up. However, having said that, um, I do think there's some opportunity to trade uh, above this 2.0231. So long 2.0231. 37 pip stop. That is if the market does manage to break above the uh, break outside of the pendant and above this triple top here.